the impact of um, tobacco tax increases on price depends, of course, on how the tobacco industry prices its cigarettes. But until now, we knew nothing about that. Tobacco taxation is one of the most effective means of reducing tobacco use, and it's particularly effective in the young and the least well-off. So, so those are the smokers that, that are the most price sensitive. Overall, um, in high-income countries, the evidence shows that a 10% increase in price leads to a 4% reduction in tobacco use. If we look at official cigarette pricing in this country, the government will say, well, a pack of cigarettes costs £6.50 or so. That's roughly what the weighted average price is now. When you go into a shop and look at the prices, there's a huge range, and the budget end of the extreme is a good pound or so cheaper than that. The tobacco companies segment their brands into a, a number of price categories, and the, the, at the top end we've got premium brands, such as these, which are currently about £8 in price. And then at the very bottom of the market, we have what we call ultra-low price brands. And actually, the, the tobacco companies in the UK only started selling these brands in around 2006. But as time passes, what we see is that as the headline prices rise quite markedly with tax and price increases from the industry as well, the price of the bottom end of the range stays remarkably stable. So that the very poor smoker, who is the person most likely to be driven by a price rise to quit, is cushioned from those changes. So what happens on their premium brands, the top end of the market, is when the government increases taxes each year, the tobacco industry are doing what we call overshifting those taxes, which means they're increasing their prices on top of the tax increases. And of course that allows them to make more and more money. Um, what's happening over time is that that's been such a successful strategy that even though cigarette sales are going down, tobacco industry profits are going up because they're making more and more profit on each pack that's sold. By contrast, at the bottom end of the market, when the government increases taxes each year, what the tobacco companies are choosing to do is absorb those tax increases so that those tax increases are not passed on to consumers and they keep price-sensitive smokers in the market. So when taxes go up each year, rather than that tax being fully shifted to smokers, some of whom would quit, the tobacco companies are absorbing that tax increase on the cheapest brands and that means that it's less likely that the price-sensitive smokers who we know are the young and the least well-off will quit. One of the reasons why the tobacco companies uh, are very worried by plain packaging, I believe, is that it's only the packaging that distinguishes a premium cigarette, which costs you £7 for 20, from a budget cigarette that costs £5 for 20. But it, the budget cigarettes are almost certainly cross-subsidised by the profits from the premium brands. So if you lose the cachet of the premium brand, the profitability of the model suddenly changes dramatically. Now that's never been discussed as a reason uh, to, to maintain plain packaging, but I think it's one of the big reasons why the tobacco companies are so agitated about it.